this thing will do two things in a plain undercarriage. In this position, flipped over to a plain concrete surface. These are pretty impressive in cold water, but they're major impressive in hot water. Of course, I was thinking in the fire industry, you're probably not going to get into the greasy floors like I get into. I get into a lot of trucking companies. The floors are terrible. This thing, you can run down a greasy floor with no chemical. This thing's 18 inches in diameter, and I mean, it'll clean that concrete where you won't crack it with your shoes with hot water. Like I say, you won't run into that much of the fire industry with the floors that get that dirty. But they do get dirty. So you get your feet wet. Nice thing about it, your feet don't even get wet. Wow. That's another big selling point. We go into some of these big truck garages, and they've got these thousand do thousands and thousands of dollars Mac toolboxes, or Snap-on toolboxes, and they're used to washing the floor with a pressure washer, and the water shoots all over the place and rusts their boxes up. Right. This your feet don't even get wet. That's why I got that close to your feet there, Luke. I guess you didn't move that. Then for the undercarriage, all you do is you flip it over go underneath. One thing I caution, you don't turn it on until you get under the truck or you're going to get wet. <laughs> well, what you want to do is you want to, if you've got heavy buildup, you're probably going to want to knock it off first. If it's not bad, you can go right to the salt neutralizer. You flip the lever open, dumps the pressure, Activates that valve. You'll be able to tell when it comes out, obviously. There it is right there. And all you do is you just go down and coat the bottom of the vehicle, whether it be a pickup truck, fire truck, school bus, whatever it is. And just coat it. You don't sit there and wash with it because you're going to waste product. Right. We found out in the school bus industry, and I picked on school buses because we sell a lot to the school industry. It takes about three quarters of a gallon to coat the underneath of a school bus and do it right. And like I say, once you put it on, you don't have to take it back off. Anymore.